Yo, yo, yo. What's going on? What's going on? Wait, wait a little bit. Let some people fill up in here before I get going too, too quick on here. What's going on, everybody? What's up, Nusha? What's up, everybody? What's up, Royal? How's it going? What's up, Young Jay? What's up? What's up? What's up, Wilson? What up, Josh P? What up, Falcon? What up, L Luz Maria? What's up, Lloyd? What's up, O'Gallon? Kimmy Johnson, what's up? Jumbo, Jumbo Smalls, what up? What's up, Young Jay? Thanks a lot, man. We really appreciate it. What's good, Brian N? What's up, bro? What's up, Mary Lou Malder? What's up, Bobby Banks? Mike Dilla? What's good, dog? What's up, Robert? Man, starting to fill up in here. Dogs are doing real good, Nusha. And the puppies are doing real good. What's up? What's up, uh, Cesar? What's up, Fabian? What's up, James? Bean puppies, that's a that's an old litter we had, man. We got we got dogs off of that litter. Check out Stax and Tank and Baby Girl. What's up with the good night from Spain? Good night, Spain. It's good to have you in here. Shout out to Spain. What's up, Diamond? What's up, David Thomas? What's up? Look at some video of the camera. Yeah, man, we're going to start doing that. We got some construction going on out there right now. And as soon as everything's all tip-top shape, we're going to be going live out there a lot. We're going to be doing a lot of videos out there. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot, Mary Lou. We really appreciate that. What's good? What's good? Well, it looks like we got some people in here. Yeah, if everybody in here, please hit that like button. We really, really appreciate that. It's going to make it so more people see this video. Um, I want to send a big shout out to my partner, Alex. It was his birthday this weekend. We went out and, you know, had a real good time. Went and bowling, went out and had some drinks, had a real good time with him, you know, for his birthday. So we've, we've been pretty busy all weekend and I ain't had a chance to get any videos done or anything like that. So I figured I'd just hop on here and go live with you since it's been a couple days. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to get on here and kind of explain the puppy situation and everything for everybody. You know, we do have puppies available, you know, not available, but we have puppies right now off of the Napoleon and Juliet litter. And, um, we're going to, you know, right now, none of them are for sale. We don't know what picks are going to be available, stuff like that. You know, this litter is going to work out a little bit different than our previous litters because we're going to be keeping a couple pups and stuff like that. And I don't want to make any promises that we can't keep just yet. You know what I mean? So the video of the puppies that we dropped, that was a video just to show you guys the puppies are here. Let you guys know how many puppies we do have, and there will most definitely be puppies available, but we're just not sure on what picks and what pups will be available yet. So, <clears throat> I'm going to get in here and try to answer some of these questions. David Thomas says, you got some great looking bullies. Thank you on the pups. Yeah, like I said, man, you know, we're going to, um, you know. We're going to try to move the, the prices and stuff along for everybody as soon as possible. I'm, I, you know, we're not trying to keep you guys waiting, stuff like that. It's just, that's just kind of how it goes, especially on these litters that we're going to be keeping some pups and stuff like that. We're not going to be keeping all the pups. There's going to be puppies available, but, you know, we don't, we can't, we can't rush into that. Shout outs to Alex T. It's all good, bro. You already know. Nothing but love, man. I had a good ass time. No, sure the cool. You have 60, 73 people in here. Please, everyone, hit this like button. Share this video. We really, really appreciate it. What would you tell a new person in the game and trying to build a kennel 
of nice all around bully. Um, you know, start off with some real good dogs, man. Spend a little bit of money. Don't come in here with no mediocre stuff and uh, you know, because it's not gonna you're not going to have any luck, trust me. If you're going to start breeding dogs, make sure you get some quality dogs and um, you know, go from there. Bubba Smith says, "I'll take the runt. They're all tough. They're all tough though." Or all breeds. Yeah, man, I I don't know what's going on with the puppies just yet. Like I said, I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. So as of right now, nothing is ready to be sold, no picks or anything like that just yet. All that stuff will be coming here really soon, though. So that's another thing I want to explain. You know, for all the people that's interested in getting a specific pick or a specific puppy, you got to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and you hit the notification bell. This isn't a ploy for me to try to get you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This is, I'm trying to explain it like that to you guys because that's how we let everybody know. We're, we're going to give everybody a fair shot on these litters. We're not going to write down names and take down numbers and stuff like that. We're not going to do that. So we ju it's just too hard to do that. Too many people call and too many people are interested in the pups to take down everybody's number and, and stuff like that. So the way we do this is when we have puppies that are going to be for sale and stuff like that, we're going to drop... We're going to drop the, the uh, you know, we'll drop the video of the puppies, letting everybody see them and stuff. And, uh, you know, we're going to, you know, normally we would take, what I'm saying is, is, is if you, you know, when we drop these videos on our channel, for you to be like the first person to see it, the first person to get with us on that specific pick, you need to be subscribed and you need to hit that notification bell. If not, you're gonna not even gonna see the see these videos. You know what I mean? YouTube is kind of funny. I'm su I'm subscribed to tons of channels, but I don't get all their videos sent to me. The only channels I get the videos actually sent to me are the ones that I subscribe to and I hit the notification bell. So if you guys are Wanting to get in there on specific picks and stuff, it's going to be your job to ch to catch that video and get with me. You know, the last letter I had a couple people upset because they didn't, you know, get in on the picks they wanted and stuff. And but that's going to be your guys's job. So you need to make sure that you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell, and you shouldn't have no problems getting the puppy you want. What's up, Wendell? What's good, my guy? Um, Justin Riviera says next breeding is going to be sick. Yeah, we got some real nice stuff coming up behind this. I can't wait to release the info for you guys, but we just got to wait a little bit and uh, we'll be releasing that here real soon. You guys produce some of the best bullies I've seen. Thanks a lot, Sky Drop. I really appreciate that, man. And, you know, that means a lot to us. That's what we're trying to do over here. We're not over here trying to build hype. We're not trying to chase hype. We're just trying to breed some badass dogs, man. Jeezy. Five six, what's up, Dayton? What's up, big dog? Only one I like, and that's mine. Yay! That's how you should be. That's how you should be, William Curry. So, do you have an idea what the next set of puppies? We got some stuff that should be dropping here. You know, at towards the new year, maybe a little bit afterwards. I don't have it exactly in my head. The do the due dates on them females, but um. But yeah, we do, you know, not the Napoleon litter. That's one of our, the Napoleon and Juliet litter. That's one of our litters. And, but we do have some other stuff coming up behind it. That's going to be really, really nice as well. So, uh, I've been posting some pictures of Juliet's productions from her last litter. I've been posting some pictures of some of Napoleon's uh, productions. So make sure you guys check that out in the community. I'm going to try to get that community thing going. So any day we don't post a video, we're going to start dropping pictures and just creating, you know, creating some uh, some conversations going on in the community. So make sure you guys check that out. Also, I've been trying to stay a little bit more, you know, active on Instagram. So if you can, search Killinois Kennels on Instagram and follow us. We're going to start trying to keep stuff up on there as well. 
That show we was talking about before on March 2nd, it's ABKC show, not BRC. I'm not sure what, sh what show you're talking about, Wendell Holmes. Um, I believe I'm judging a show March 2nd of 2019 in Tennessee, and that's a BRC global show. What's up, Commodore Kurt? What's up? What's good? What's good, big dog? Does the price of the puppies always mean the best quality? I mean, not always, you know what I mean? These The way pups are, you know what I mean? They change so much, you know? I've seen situations where people got the last pick pup, and then that ends up being the best pup off of the whole litter. So, you know, we do price our puppies on what we see their worth at the time of in our hands, but anything's possible and anything can happen. So just because you see a pup that is priced low doesn't mean it's not a good pup. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, you know, it's, it's what we're looking for necessarily. We price them as what their, the value is to us. You know what I mean? So, but just because it's a, you know, just because it's a good deal or a cheap price doesn't mean it's not a good dog. It's just, you know, we're just trying to cut a little bit of a deal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Justin uh, Riviera. And uh, you should raise cane corsos. Nah, the American bullies are it for us. We're not gonna. We're not switching up on no breeds or nothing like that. Cane corsos are nice dogs, and there's a lot of nice dogs out there. A lot of different breeds that I like, but. My heart is with the American bully, and I don't see me ever leaving that. But what's up, Jose Pena? What's up, Commodore Kurt? Just right here. I just got two Cane Corsos looking to breed them soon. That's what's up, big dog. That's what's up. You know, shout out to you know, shout out to everybody that messes with the Cane Corsos. They are beautiful dogs. They're just not quite for me, man. got to hit that bell yes sir you got to hit that bell there was another guy that talked on a video um i was sharing a show you know sharing an upcoming show and he had said you know oh dayton that that show was 30 minutes from my house you know what i mean and you know i wish i would have knew it but you know we've we're putting it out there for you guys to know it it's it's your gonna be your job to check out those videos so, I mean, he probably is subscribed and hasn't hit the notification bell. So that means he only gets very few of our actual notifications that our videos are dropping. He, I cannot stress how much it is, you know, you really got to hit that notification bell. You hit that subscribe button, you go to our channel, you hit the subscribe button, and right next to the subscribe button, there's a little outline of a bell you click on that and hit the check and you're guaranteed going to get every one of my videos that i drop and that's you know if you're interested in a specific pup and you want to make sure you get that puppy and stuff then you really need to be in tune with that and if you want to come to these shows and you're waiting for one to get in your area you really need to do that you know because that guy missed a show that was 30 minutes from his house and he could have been there easy you know and we did put the video out there for him to see if you breed them, you'll get a lot. <laughs> not necessarily, Nusha. No, not at all. You got to... 87 Cutlass Boy. Thanks for the info, man. That's why I keep up with your videos. Sometimes it's hard to get good info. Sometimes I run into people who will tell you anything just to make a quick buck. Yeah, man. You can, you know, ask a lot of people that follow us and stuff like that. We're not going to sit here and beg anybody to buy anything. We're not going to try to push a puppy off on you. If you don't like the puppy that we have available, then we don't want you to have that puppy. You know what I mean? So we're not going to sit here and try to air hustle people and get them to buy, you know, spend money that they don't want to spend. Either you like what you see or you don't, man. And if not, you can wait till we got something else coming or you can move on to the next one. However you guys like to do it. You know what I mean? Chris Gambo says, I want to pop off your boy Sarge. He's a beast. Yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned, man. We're going to have some Sarge breedings coming here real soon. Sarge is a real badass boy, and, um, you know, we can't wait to get him going. We just have a little bit 
some older stuff that needs to be bred first and stuff like that and we just have specific breedings that we 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 you know have lined up but sarge is definitely going to make it in the mix here really soon so make sure you guys stay tuned for that also you know sarge is up for stud for a thousand dollars right now and that's just before you know that's just until he gets a few breedings under his belt and uh you know we can see what he's producing and you know like i said our dogs don't do nothing but get better and better with time and, and and by looking at our videos you can see that you look at our throwback thursday videos and you compare those dogs to the dogs that we show now today way big way better difference and they're just getting better and better with time and you know so with that being said you know we feel like sarge is going to produce himself if not better so if anyone's interested in using sarge i talked to my partner and his stud fees a thousand dollars right now real good special so if anyone's interested you can get with us and we'll take care of you waiting for the stacks in brooklyn breeding yeah, that's going to be a really nice one, man. That's one that's going to be going down here really soon. So make sure you stay tuned. I can't wait for that breeding myself. Them two match up so good together. It's not even funny. Did you see the dude that has like, did, anyway. What Curly Boy Ty says, did you see the dude who has like his Hulk puppies are worth 15K? If you did, how did you feel about that? Nah, I haven't seen that, man, but, uh, you know, to each their own. I'm not here to hate on dude for trying to get, you know, what he wants out of them puppies. Um, you know, they might be worth that to him. I don't know what they are, what they're worth. Is it my type of dog? No, it's not. But, um, you know, I feel like we, if there's people out there getting 15K, we should be them people as well, too. But, you know, that's... A whole nother thing, but uh, I don't really care about what other people are doing, Curly Boy. We do us, man. We're over here doing us, and we're stay worrying about what we're doing. All we're the only people we're in competition with is ourselves. We're trying to do better and better and better. We're just trying to cr create nothing but you know high quality, show quality American bullies, and that's what we're shooting for over here. That clone dog video was amazing. Thanks a lot, Commodore Quirt. We really appreciate that, man. Yeah, white folks threw it down on that litter, man. Um, I got, you know, I got Roberto that just sent me an update. We're going to be putting that video up here soon. And make sure you guys stay tuned. We got uh, we got the Stella video, an uh, updated video of Stella that we're going to be dropping, I would say, probably Tuesday, maybe Monday. I'm not 100% sure. Just got to see how things go, but it's a really good video of her. We got something really, really big that we're going to be releasing soon that we got playing with Stella. It's going to be some real next level stuff. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Josh P. Been waiting for my fellow Texan buyers to send updates. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting too. Um, I had one pup that was going to go out to Texas. We only got the one female that went out to Texas, and uh, they had sent me a picture. I'll be posting that here soon, but I'm hoping to get some video. You know, these videos of the customer updates, people have been liking to see that so, you know, they can see what we're providing for people, not just the dogs we keep. That's another thing. Make sure you go check out those customer update videos because those are the dogs that we let go to people. You know what I mean? Those are the dogs that are with other people. So those aren't the dogs that we keep for ourselves. Those are the dogs that we're offering to the community. You know what I mean? So you can see the type of dogs, you know, and we've got way more than that. The, the customer updates is just something that we've done. I'm going to be doing a video on productions like Debo Productions and Rocky Productions just to let you guys know, like, all the badass dogs we have produced. Like, we our resume is unreal and i'm gonna show that to you guys because you guys really need to learn that about us you know we're new to youtube and not a whole lot of people know where we're you know where we've came from and who we are and stuff like that we're a real big name in the bully world but you know youtube is new to us and we're just now getting started with that so just because we're not don't have as many subscribers as some of these other guys doesn't mean anything subscribers doesn't make your kennel your dogs do 
And, you know, we feel we have one of the most consistent, you know, top yards around. You know what I mean? I'm not saying we're the best in the world, but we're definitely contenders. And, um, you know, you don't see no slouches on our yard. You know, we, we, we like to keep, you know, keep nothing but high quality dogs. Advice for someone wanting to get into breeding. Like I said before earlier in the video, man, if you're wanting to get into this stuff, go big. Don't don't half ass it. Don't go out and, you know, oh, I can find an American bully for five hundred thousand. Those are people that are new breeders like you would be trying to just get off the stuff that nobody wants, man. So all I can say is is go out there, spend some good money, deal with somebody that's a good breeder do a little bit of research, you know what I mean? You know, as far as us, you can look at our videos. We've, you know, we got crazy awards. We've been awarded stuff, you know. Our first American Bully was the very first dog inducted to the Midwest Hall of Fame. Look at stuff like that. If you, you know, those are the type of people that have been around and have a good reputation, you know what I mean? What's good? What's good? Brian Nelson. How's the Napoleon Juliet litter? Those, pup look, those pups look badass. I really want to get one, but money is tight. Thought I'd have more saved up by now. What are those pups going to cost? Ballpark figure. Yeah, the Napoleon and Juliet pups are looking really, really nice, man. They got some real, real nice heads in that litter, real nice colors. Just all around real good litter, man. And, um, you know, the prices, you're going to probably be looking around. The, you know, our pups on an average are about $2,2500 plus shipping, though. If you got to have it shipped, it'll be a little bit extra than that. But on an average, that's our price, $2,2500. And, um, you know, sometimes we have them a little bit more. Sometimes we have them a little bit cheaper. It really just depends on the situation, you know. We might have a pet quality dog, you know, that will be a little bit cheaper, you know. When messing with bullies, you get certain stuff out of American bullies. You might get a dog with a kink tail or you might get a dog with a underbite or something like that, you know. That would be a pet quality dog and we would cut a better deal on a dog like that, but... <laughs> You know, on average, like I said, our pups are about 2000 2500 give or take a little bit up, give or take a little bit down. Same, you know, same thing. And like I said, I feel like, you know, the quality of dogs we put out versus our price, you cannot beat that anywhere. The quality of dogs that we give out for that price, you couldn't go get that dog from another breeder for that, for that cheap. You know what I mean? Like, so I feel like we have the best prices around, that's for sure. Ryan Samuels, is there a way to learn how to show your dog the correct way? Yes, I have. I was just talking to somebody else about that earlier. We are going to be doing a video, you know, showing people how to show their dogs, you know, especially for, uh, for first-time showgoers and stuff like that. We're going to do a little information video showing you how to sh stack your dog up, showing you how the show ring goes, the reason why people are doing stuff in the show ring. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. And if you see that video, make sure you hit the like button and share that video, man. We need to get a good response on that so a lot of people know what's going on out there. What's up, J uh, Jaleel Young? What's up, big dog? My heart is with all my dogs. Favorite is the German Shepherd. German Shepherds are real good dogs too. No, stay with the bullies. Top tried bullies UK. Yo, bro. In the building from the UK. Shout out to the UK and shout out to uh, top, top, top tried bullies, man. Thanks for tuning in, big dog. Commodore Kurt, the bell has to be looking like it's ringing with the lines around the side. Yeah, for those that are interested, you know, or, you know, wanting to stay in tune with our videos, he's saying the outline has to be, it'll look like it's ringing. So that, yep, that's a good thing there, Kurt. Slip the jab. What's up, Dayton? I've been keeping my eyes on your progress and the quality coming out of your kennel. It's very consistent. I know where my money is going when I'm ready to get ready you got that fire 
thanks a lot big dog and yeah that's that's man hit us up and we'll take care of you man like i said you know we're trying to we want to make we want to take care of our customers and send them the best quality dog we can so get with us and we'll, we'll hook you up with something real nice man come to texas yeah we're gonna try to get some shows out there in texas man well a lot of people been um a lot of people been asking for them out there we're gonna definitely try to make that happen but if you guys are in here, please hit that like button. You know, we got, we've had, a, you know, up to like 75 people in here. We only got 30 likes. Please hit that like button. Dayton, any tips on pricing pups when you are a beginner in the game? Do you need to build a name for yourself to sell first and good prices? Not necessarily, you know what I mean? I luckily came into this stuff, you know, at the right time. And I was, you know, the dogs that I had was, you know, the top notch, high quality dogs. And, you know, I was able to get good money off of them right up, right off the bat. But it also, you got to do promoting. You got to promote your dogs, right? You got to get the best pictures and the best videos you can get of them. And you got to keep on putting it out there and just showing the world, man. And just, you know, try to get your name out there. You know, pri the pups, you know, pups priced are, is, it has to do with what you think they're worth, you know what I mean? And what someone else is willing to buy them for, you know what I mean? So I, you just got to promote them good. That's how you'll get, you know, your best money for them. Let's hit that 500 likes on this video. That's right, Kurt. Let's do that. Let's do that. Big Train 187. Hi there. Just subscriber to your channel. I'll... I love, I just love bully dogs. That's what's up, man. Thanks for subscribing and check out a lot of, man, we got tons of real good videos. If you love bullies, you'll love our channel. Make sure you check out our show vlogs. Make sure you check out our studs, our breedings, you know, puppies, stuff that you, you know, see the dogs that we've produced in the past. Make sure you listen to those videos because there's a lot of good information on there. You know, a lot of people, uh, you know, probably are, don't really pay attention to what I'm saying, but there's a lot of, a lot of good info in there. You know what I mean? So make sure you, you know, check those, check out those videos. What's update on the pups? We just dropped a video of the pups, um, just a couple days ago. You know, that's going to be the closest update we have to them right now. Um, we don't sit, we're not going to sit here and take videos of them every day and stuff like that. We will have a, a new update coming in about a week or two, so make sure you stay tuned for that. We will definitely do some updates, and we will be letting everybody know what's going to be available and prices and stuff like that. Oh, I remember when I said if you breed them, you will get lots of money. I was not talking to you. I was talking to the person who... Uh, yeah... You know, no matter what breed you're dealing with, if you don't promote them right and do, you know, do the leg work, you're not going to get no money out of those dogs. Those dogs don't just sell themselves. So, you know what I mean? You got to, you got to put them out there. American Bully Mini, Mr. C-U-T. What's up? What's up, big dog? Big Train 187. I have American Bully myself, but I'm looking for a female for him but it's very hard to find bully dogs where i live yeah man we provide shipping worldwide so if you're ever interested in one of our dogs we can make it happen for you thanks a lot no show we really appreciate that cruz what's the cost of your last pick of the litter and do you ever produce solid black puppies um it's kind of hard to produce a solid black puppy. We've had, you know, dogs that are majority black and stuff like that. Um, uh, the price of the last pick, it's, it varies on different litters, man. It really just depends, you know. Usually our last picks go for, you know, anywhere for 1500 to maybe 1000 on a lucky day. It really just depends. I want to spend my money on one of your pups. They look bad. Thanks a lot, Cesar, man. You know hopefully one of these pups are for you and if you see something in there you like and it becomes available get with us and we'll take care of you and if not we got some other real nice stuff coming up right behind this so make sure you guys stay tuned like i said man again the reason why i went live today is just to kind of break down some prices for you guys and stuff like that and sit here and just have a conversation with y'all 
again, big shout out to my homie Alex, my partner. It was his birthday. We went out and kicked it this weekend, had a real good time. And, you know, I woke up rough on Saturday and, uh, you know, we just ain't, we didn't, we wasn't able to get no videos done this weekend, but so I figured I'd go live and chop it up with you guys, man. A lot of people liked the light, the last live video we did and, you know, trying to get it, trying to get these lives going a little bit better. Yeah, yes, that's right, Commodore Kirk. We're gonna definitely be trying to push for that 15. We're trying to we're trying to get bypass that. And you know, shout out to everybody that does, you know, that's on here that does support our channel and shows us love, man. That shit that really means a lot. And um, you know, we really appreciate it. And through all that love and support is what's making this channel grow. And we really, really appreciate you guys for that. Reginald Smith, will you breed Napoleon's mother and white folks again? Reginald Smith, we don't really like to do repeats too often. It may happen. It may not. I don't really want to say yes or no on that because it's really hard to tell. But, you know, white folks and Trixie definitely threw it down. And, I, you know, we, we might do it some other, someday. I'm not 100% sure, but make sure you guys stay tuned because we do got something really big planned for Trixie's next breeding. We're not going to do it on her next one, that's for sure. When are you breeding white folks again? Um, We're going to be breeding him probably here really soon, man. Really soon. I'm also looking, if anyone's got like a really, really nice female and is, is locally around here get with me and i'll work you out a real nice deal on white folks white folks is getting older and we're trying to put them out there um as far as what we have lined up with him right now nothing right this exact moment we got some other breedings we need to plan we've we've done quite a few breedings with white folks we got some other studs we need to be incorporating and stuff and uh but we will have some stuff coming soon so how much do you sell your dogs for like I said before, on an average, it's between, you know, I averaged 2000 to 2500 sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit cheaper. It really just depends on the situation. Christian Salazar says, Cali, love and respect to you and yours. Keep up the good work. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. We really, really appreciate it, man. King Louis says, amen to that, brother. Ryan Samuels, how would you practice for a dog show? What would you be your advice? You need to work on stacking your dog up. Just work on stacking your dog up. And also, um, you know, you always got to keep your dog on the left-hand side. That's a little tip for you, you know. You go in the ring, you always have to keep the dog on the left-hand side of you. You know, you can stack him up in your house. Make sure you kind of put pet him while you stack him. That way he gets used to people's hands being on him while he's stacked or she, whatever. Um, you can work on gating your dog, you know, keep the dog on your left-hand side, gate it around in a circle and, you know, get it to get it used to moving on your left-hand side. That's how you should always have your dog. Make sure that dog's on the left-hand side and just get it used to being on a leash and stuff like that. Cesar Hernandez, do you know what the cost to deliver to California? Um, it really depends, man. Usually around 500, give or take a little bit. Like I said, you know, usually about 500 for shipping though. Yes, sir. I think I'm way behind on these comments. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to get, catch up here. I can breed any dog. I have lots of experience and research every day. That's what's up, Nusha. That's what's up. Solo, what's up, man? See you doing your thing. Yeah. Yeah, solo assassin. We're trying to trying to stay busy here, man. Keep stuff moving. Dion's life. Do you breed bullies in here in her first heat? Can you let me know what you think? No, you don't want to breed your dog on the first heat. You want to let her develop and get a little bit older than that. I mean, I guess it depends when your dog comes in the first heat, but I wouldn't breed a dog any sooner than a year old, and that's even still a little bit early. We usually wait a little bit longer than that to breed our dogs. But, uh, solo assassin, your quality you got is good. Thanks a lot, man. We really appreciate that. Mario Medina, Medina, 
Illinois Steady producing that fire. Thanks a lot, Mario. That we really appreciate that, man. Wonderful idea about the showmanship training. Yeah, I'm definitely good. We're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna work on that here real soon. We got a lot of new stuff we're gonna be bringing to the channel, man. I just gotta. It, a lot of this stuff is hard for me just to do by myself. You know, I do most of this stuff by myself. I do all the video, all the editing everything you know what i mean so i'm trying to um you know as long as i can get some people to help me out with that video and stuff which i will it's just it's just hard to get everybody on the same page sometimes but we are definitely going to be bringing a lot of new stuff to the channel for sure deontay watkins says big ups to y'all fire thanks a lot big dog we appreciate it brian holton what's up date merry christmas how old are the napoleon and juliet litter now They'll be three weeks old this uh, Friday, and they're looking really, really nice. Ken Kniff, the quality of your dogs are second to none in my eyes. The amount of badass dogs your camp is crazy. Thanks a lot, Ken Kniff, and that's what we, you know, that's what we strive for over here. We're trying to put out the, you know, nothing but nothing but the best quality dogs we can. And, you know, we want all of our pups to be that way, and, you know, we're trying to make every customer happy. That's our goal over here. Philip, Philip D. Jesus he said, "I really like the fact you judge, so you know what we look what we look for. Love what you do." Yeah, man, I love judging. You know, it's it's took me a lot of places that I'd never be. You know, recently, not recently, but uh, you know, not too long ago, I judged a dog show in Brazil. It was the first time I ever been out of the country in my life. And, you know, it was one of the best experiences of my life as well. That video we're going to be dropping here really soon. And uh, it's going to be one of the best videos we ever drop. A lot of our show dogs or a lot of our show vlogs don't get a whole lot of attention, man. And those are some really good videos. But this Brazil video is going to be the best video I've ever dropped. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Shout out to Big John Bully. Says shout out to Illinois Kim. Hey man, what's up, bro? I love you too, man. Hope everything's doing good over there, man. I wish I could bring you on here, John. That would be cool as hell. I don't, I don't think you can do that on here though. Rob, Rob Lord, sweet puppies. Thanks a lot, big dog. We really appreciate it. How many pups have y'all planned on keeping off the litter? See, that's the thing, uh, Derek. We don't really know what we're keeping. We might keep none. We might not keep none. We might keep one. We might keep two. It's really hard to say. Only time will tell. We just got to let these puppies develop a little bit before we start making any, you know, crazy decisions like that. Empire Gate Bullies. What's up? What's good, Dayton? Just tuned in. What's up, everybody? What's up, Empire Gate Bullies? How you doing, big dog? South Cross Boss, do you have micro bullies? We have some, you know, we had, yeah, we got some, we got some pockets, you know what I mean? Micro really isn't really a thing, man. That's just like a made up name for a short dog. We do have some pockets, uh, we do have some real nice pocket dogs as well, you know, we got them in all sizes, man. We got dogs from pockets all the way up to XLs, you know, we don't have a whole lot of XLs, but we do have a couple. Damn, I wish I had done what you're doing because I've had top-of-the-line dogs. I just never bred them. Yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. I mean, T, you know, ain't nothing wrong with just having a pet, man. Not at all. Not everybody should be breeding any, anyways. And I'm that's not a shout at, out at you. I'm just saying that's what a lot of people think. You know what I mean? And not everybody should be doing it. But uh, I'd like to see your dog or something sometime. South Cross Boss, I'm looking for a male micro bully. I have Dr. Evil's direct daughter. Yeah, man, we got, like I said, you know, our girl Brooklyn, she's micro, you know, she's a real short, short female, you know what I mean? So we do have micros over here, but we don't really breed for that, you know what I mean? We are breeding for just like a me, you know, medium style dot type of dog. We're looking for extreme standard dogs, extreme pockets, stuff like that. What up, big dog? Can't wait to see the boss person. 
That's right, Josh P. Shout out to Big John. Brian Holton, gotta get the KK shirt connect going. I love to put some nice bully shirts. Yeah, man, we're gonna definitely get them shirts going and stuff. I just gotta figure out how we're gonna be able to offer them to you guys. Usually whenever I do um, T-shirts and stuff like that, we usually just do them locally and stuff like that, and they do really good, but I would like to, uh, you know, start selling some you know on the website and stuff like that and you know once we get the website up and going i've been so busy with youtube it's really hard to get the uh get to finish my website but here soon that'll be up and we will be providing a lot of different stuff on there you know try to help support the channel you know we're going to try to get some new cameras we're going to try to get a lot of new equipment and stuff like that so are all show those on the list. Yeah, there's gonna be some real nice, uh, real nice show, you know, show quality American bullies off these upcoming letters, man. Make sure you guys stay tuned. I love all dogs. If someone brings a really aggressive breed of dog, I would ask to pet it. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Kurt. Man, we, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to keep these lives going up for you guys and stuff like that. Man, it's cool to get on here and actually be able to answer your guys' questions questions like that you know we're gonna try to start doing some scheduled lives and stuff like that because um i think we'll be able to get more people on there if we kind of schedule them like that like i said again happy birthday shout out to my partner alex it was his birthday this weekend we just been super busy you know celebrating and stuff like that and uh you know, I wasn't able to actually put up any, you know, get any videos done to actually put up. So that's why I was like, you know what, we'll just go live just to get on here and holler at you guys. What do you know about Dr. Evil? I don't know. That sounds like an exotic situation or something, man. We breed American bullies over here. We don't have no exotics. I don't know who Dr. Evil is, though. But I'm, you know, from what you were saying, being a micro and stuff like that. It's probably some exotic dogs. We have American bullies. We don't have exotic bullies. Hey, you deserve more subscribers. Yeah, we, we're trying to get there, man. Like I said, you know, we're a young channel. We've had a YouTube channel forever. You know, a year ago, we had 104 subscribers. Right now, we're almost at, you know, 11,000. And, uh, you know, we agree. And we're just going to keep on pushing. And hopefully, we get them, man. Have you heard? Thanks, you are a real dude. Keep up the good work. Thanks for your time, for talking to us. Yeah, no problem, Dion's life. Anytime, man. Like I said, I like getting on here in these lives and, you know, conversating with you guys. I can, you know, answer any of your questions really fast and, you know, pretty pretty cool. It seems like a lot of you guys like these lives. If, uh, if you guys would like to see more of these lives, let us know in the comments. What's up, big homie? What's up, Jack, uh, Zach Johnson? New shit of the cool people. Sorry, people have to go. I am getting very sleepy. The, okay, new shit. We'll see you later. Commodore Kurt. Is that a dog? Is a dog. I don't know what that is. Brian, Brian uh, Valencia says, hey, big fan of your channel and your dogs. Thanks a lot, big dog. We really appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Thomas Smith, I, look, I would love to have a puppy. That's what, Yeah, man, get with us. If you guys are interested, get with us and we'll take care of you. We'll get together and make a video, brother, Big John. Yeah, man, we got to do that, Big John. We got to do that. We got to we gotta do a little collaboration uh, video for, for all the subscribers. It seems like we have a lot of the same subscribers and stuff, bro. I can't wait to do one, you know, get some videos cracking with you anyways, man. I wish I could bring you on right now. I don't think there's no way to do that, though. I'll take any of the boys. That's what's up, Cesar. Stay tuned. We might have some available. What says He says a micro. He's talking exotic, I think. Yeah, I think so, too. We don't have any exotic dogs over here, you know. <clears throat> there is nothing, you know nothing against the exotics you know that's that's their own thing and stuff like that we just we breed american bullies over here man that's our you know that's our cup of tea 
Big John, your girl looks like she's ready to pop any day. Yeah, man, Two Face is blowing up over there, boy. She got me feeling sorry for her. <laughs> well, I, 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 we're about to be in that same boat here real soon, John. Empire State Bully. What class of bullies do you prefer the most? I prefer, you know, I prefer standard, extreme standard dogs, you know. I like my males to be about 17 inches tall, but just be extreme, bulky, big bone, big head. That's that's where I like them. But I also got dogs that are pockets that I love, you know what I mean? So we have a lot... We have a lot of different stuff over here and a lot of different, you know, we like a lot of different stuff over here. We, you know, we like to provide, you know, sometime we might have a dog that's too big. If we have a dog that we feel is too big, we'll breed it to a shorter dog, you know what I mean? And vice versa. If the dog's too small, we'll breed it up to a bigger dog. We're trying to hit that middle, you know, good sized dog, you know what I mean? Empire Gate, what up, Q? What up, what up, y'all? Kurt, smash that like button. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot, Lori Brinkley. American Bullies schedule lives will definitely bring more people. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start trying to do that. I don't know when it'll be the best day. Um maybe I'll make a poll on that community here soon and um you know, see what, what you guys would feel like be the best day to actually start these lives. Yes to the lives. Pumpkin, what's good, Mini? Mr. C-U-T. Thomas Smith, how do I contact you? I'm from Youngstown, Ohio. You can give me a call at 217-280-0151. And anyone that is interested in getting a puppy or something, and you might have texted me and I might not have responded back, our phone is just going crazy with text messages and I just, you know, and it seems like once I text message one person back, then there's five more questions that come in and it's just, I, I don't have enough time to sit there and text back everybody back and forth all day. I can't do that. So the best thing for you to do if you want to get in touch with me is to give me a call on my phone. You know, something that we talk about on text message for 20 minutes, a half hour, we can handle over a two minute phone call. You know what I mean? So it's basically on time. I'm not acting like I'm too good and I can't respond back to your text or anything like that. It's just, it's way easier to handle all this stuff over a phone call. And plus I can explain myself better. Robert so Dayton as a judge, what's your opinion on the TBKC and DNA testing dogs? Um, I don't have no opinion on in, any of these other registries like that, man. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to hate on anybody or nothing like that. I don't even know what they got going on over there, to be quite honest with you. And as far as DNA and that stuff's cool for people that, you know, are questionable and doing shady business. But I don't have to DNA my dogs because I know who they come off of. You know what I mean? So I'm not I'm not doing no DNA testing unless I get called out on a DNA test, which would be funny as hell. But I don't feel the need to DNA test a dog that I know I bred. You know what I mean? We're not over here doing shady shit. So DNA testing really isn't nothing to me. And as far as the TBKC... You know, I got respect for some of those guys over there, and, you know, I don't know what they got going on, though. I'm too busy judging for the BRC and the IBKC, and, you know, those are my two registries of choice, is the T uh, IBKC and the BRC. I suggest you check those out, because that's where it's going on at. Nice litter. Can't wait to see the updates to see where what you will be selling, and shout out to Big John. Tell... Tell both producing nice puppies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot. We really appreciate it. And again, shout out Big John. Big John better start shouting me out. I'm tired of shouting him out. But <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just messing with John. <laughs> but like Sunday Lives. Yeah, I think Sunday Lives would be cool, Commodore Kurt. What's recommended? What recommendation can you give me to 
to choose a puppy. Um, you look for what you want. Look for what you want in the puppy. You know, that's the best thing, man. Don't sit here and try to think as a breeder. Think of think of it what you like and what you want. That's some of the that's some of the craziest stuff in the bully world is people will come into the bully world wanting wanting a specific dog and they'll get brainwashed into wanting something that they didn't even wasn't even looking for to begin with. I suggest you do what you do, pick what you like, look for the puppy you like. That's the best thing to do. Alright, um, can't wait for some shirts, I'm down to rock a Kelenoy Kennels t-shirt any day down in here in Texas. Yeah, we're gonna get them cracking, man, we got some really nice designs and stuff too, man, so make sure you stay tuned, bro, I'm gonna try to figure that out, how I can provide them to sell to other people, you know what I mean, that, you know, isn't locally and stuff like that. Jay Salazar says, hey, what's up with them pups? What pups are available? That um, Again, the video we dropped of them puppies, that was just to show you guys what's going on. We The puppies are here. This is how many we have, stuff like that. We're going to be taking a couple pups off of that litter ourselves. So here in the next upcoming weeks, we'll be making decisions on what picks will be available and pricing. On an average, the prices are going to be from two thousand to twenty five hundred, give or take a little bit, plus shipping if need be. Shipping is usually an extra five hundred. What pups are available? Again, like I said, nothing. You know, we do have pups, and there will be pups for sale, but nothing is available right at this exact time, and we're not just going to. You know, we'll, here soon we'll determine what picks. You know what? How what pick females will be available and what pick males and stuff and the prices. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. If you're really interested in grabbing one of these pups, make sure you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell. That'll make sure that whenever we drop that video, letting everybody know what the prices are and what's going to be available, you'll be one of the first people to know. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, you could put a link in there, but I got to figure out, like, who... I got to figure out what to run, you know, how to get orders, how to... What people... How people can pay, stuff like that. I mean, I know PayPal and stuff like that, but I just got to figure some things out. We're going to definitely be making that happen here soon. Cool, thanks. Well, I'm purchasing from you, so I know I'm getting something I want. Yeah, that's what's up, Cesar. We got, oh, excuse me, we got some really, really nice stuff, you know, some really nice stuff coming, man. Some of the, you know, some of the best breedings we've done ever are on the way and here as we speak. Like I said, the Napoleon and Ju uh, Champion Juliet litter is off the chain. We got some real nice stuff coming up. With Stella and Trixie right behind that. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I'm going to be dropping a new video of Stella either tomorrow or the next get next day. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. When are you doing a show in SAC again? Um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but there's going to be a lot of shows going on up there in Northern California. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I'm going to be judging one coming here real soon. They're uh, debating on what show they're going to have me judge. It's either going to be um, the it's going to be either a 420 show or the Father's Day show. One or the other I'm going to be judging. And uh, I'll be posting that up. But any shows that are coming up, make sure you check out that upcoming show's playlist. Because usually about a week right before the show, we'll drop a video letting everybody know that that show is going to be there. And, uh, you know, that way you got a nice good week to get ready to go to it. And especially if it's in your area, stuff like that. We would drop them earlier, but, you know, if we dropped them any earlier than that, people will forget about them. You know what I mean? And stuff like that. So we usually just like to drop the video about a week before the show. 
Brian Holton, love the live. Keep up the great work. You guys got the best bullies and best prices. Love the style of dogs you're breeding. Thanks a lot, Brian Holton. We really appreciate that, man, and that means a lot, and we most definitely will, for sure. Thomas Smith, y'all killing Carolina Bully Farm. Best bullies I've seen yet. Thanks a lot, man. We really appreciate it. You know, there's a lot of... Uh, we really appreciate that, man. We're not going to trash nobody. We're not going to trash nobody on here, but we really, really appreciate, you know, you guys that feel that type of way because we got some, we do have some real nice dogs and we're definitely, you know, we really appreciate that, man. Facebook marketplace might be an option for hustling t-shirts. Yeah, I could probably do that too, man. It's just going to be like, I want to make sure you know, all the people that order and stuff, because we're going to have a lot of people that order these shirts. And I just want to make sure that everything's going to all, you know, everything's going to line up right. You know what I mean? I'm going to make sure, you know, that we're getting the orders and stuff like that. I've just never done that. Usually I've dropped it on Facebook and I would, uh, you know, usually I would drop it on Facebook and I would tell people, you know, hey, we're going to do a shirt pre-order, pre-order, uh, we're going to do a, you know, do a pre-order on the shirts and stuff. And, uh, um, you know, we, we just go pick up cash and do it like that way. You know what I mean? But, you know, with the credit cards and stuff like that, people not being around here and shipping and stuff, I just want to make sure I have everything set up right because I don't want nobody not happy and stuff like that. We're just trying to keep everybody happy. So... Great. Sounds good. Seems like everybody wants a shirt. Yeah, I'm going to try to, yeah, I'm going to try to definitely, uh, ch definitely get them going. You know, we got some real nice shirts that even people that didn't even know of us or anything like that would buy them. Like our shirts are badass. You can see a lot of them in our previous videos and stuff. Thomas Smith, Dark Dynasty pups. Prices are crazy. Yeah, man. I, like I said, man, we're not on here to bash other kennels and stuff like that. Um, I don't agree with a, with uh, with uh, what a lot of kennels do, so I'm not gonna get on here and bash any of these guys. American Bully Mini Mister Cut says, "Best way to sell on Facebook: start up a page, have people pay you through Venmo immediately, goes to your bank account, twenty five dollar shirt, five dollar for shipping." Yeah, that sounds about right, right there. Kim Kniss, Steph, Stella is a badass female. I can't wait to see who you're breeding her to. Yeah, it's going to be some next level breeding, and I can't wait to release that information, and we will be releasing it here soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. American Bully Mini, C-U-T says, we need, we need chosen, chosen upstate New York, plenty of farmland around from here for everyone to bring a dog or two or three. Yeah, man, we got some dogs up there in the, in New York. We just sent out two real nice white folks out there. We got one in Brooklyn and one in Long Island. We also got another one out there in Pennsylvania. So we've been sending some stuff out there to the East Coast. Kim Kniff, it's good that you're so humble. I respect that. Yeah, we, you know, that's how we try to be, man. We try to be super cool, super humble. We don't, we ain't on here thinking we're better than anybody, but we do, you know, we are, we do know that we, you know, where we stand, you know what I mean? I'm not going to, I'm not going to bash other people and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm just not, that's just, I'm from the old school of the bully world and that's just not what you do. If you need to bash somebody else to try to sell your stuff, then you probably don't got that good of stuff. <laughs> so you're one cool dude and keep it 100. Thanks a lot, uh, Thomas Smith. Really appreciate that, man. I don't feel like there's any other way to be. Commodore Kurt, you should post a picture with people wearing the shirt. Yeah, I'll, I'll work on doing that. Like I said, on our off days, we, we're working on posting videos every other day. You know, we'll post a video on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, we'll skip a day between Friday and Saturday. And then on those off days, you know, we'll post up something in the community. So make sure you guys check out that community because we're about to get that really rolling over there. 
Tracy Phillips. Been following you guys for a while, brother. Great stock and keep up the great work. Oh, yeah, white folks throwing some gold. Thanks a lot, uh, Tracy Phillips. We really, really appreciate that. You know, white folks have been doing his thing and his kids are also doing their thing and it's just going on and going on from generation to generation. But, uh, you know, thanks a lot for the love on white folks. It really means a lot. Thomas Smith still is a badass dog. Yes, she is. Wait till you guys see this updated video we got of her. You know, we, <laughs> we, the last video we posted to Stella was probably, you know, uh, the updated footage we we posted of her was probably a good you know year and a half ago or something like that not maybe not that long but it seems like forever so we just went and got some real nice footage of her and we will be posting that video in the next couple of days so make sure you stay tuned for that when are you breeding your pockets again we we always you know what i mean like we always get pocket dogs man i mean um you don't have to breed pockets to get a pocket dog. And some of the best pockets you get come off of bigger dogs. You know what I mean? So a lot of those puppies you see out of that Napoleon and Juliet litter, they will be pockets. But, you know, we got a lot of stuff that's going to be bringing pocket puppies here soon. You know, we got the Napoleon and Juliet litter. And we got two other breedings that we're going to be releasing here really really soon so make sure you guys stay tuned for that i can't wait to release those as well and they will be dropping a little bit after the new year you got any dogs in ohio um i'm not 100 percent sure about that thomas i can't i think i have sold some dogs out there in the past but i can't remember 100 percent sure it's been quite a while Nothing recent has been out there, but I've done plenty of business out there. I've done breedings with people out there, stuff like that. Have you ever thought of having your dogs on live? Yeah, um, you know, we have put our dogs on live before. We have, um, you know, we do our puppies and stuff like that. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more live videos. It's kind of hard to do videos on live like you know with our dogs and stuff like that because we'll be working off of a, a cell phone connection instead of wi-fi usually you know what i mean so but uh but yeah we're gonna start uh, you know doing a lot more lives with the dogs stuff like that some you know make sure you guys stay tuned for that and also make sure you guys go check out uh killinoy kennels on instagram because i think i'm gonna you know because a lot of people want to see the dog shows live, but I can't put them on YouTube because they'll give us copyright strikes because of the music behind in the background and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to start going live from Instagram, you know, at dog shows. So make sure you guys go subscribe to that. Yeah, we have a Killinois Kennels Instagram. It's just Killinois Kennels. You just search Killinois Kennels just like you do on YouTube, and that'll take you to our Instagram page. Haters in the bully world keep up, keep chumps down. Yeah, that yeah we ain't messing with the haters in the bully world. That's for damn sure. J or anything and everything. What's good, brother? Watching out in Dallas, Texas. Enjoy your videos. Thanks a lot, big dog. We really appreciate it, man. And make sure you guys stay tuned, man. We have tons and tons of real good videos coming soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned. It's good. We got some real good stuff. Some of the best show vlogs. The best videos of our dogs that we have. Lots of real good stuff, man. And, you know, we're also going to be posting up, you know, those up, you know, upcoming show videos, letting everybody know when shows are coming up in their area. We got lots of real nice stuff. We also got a lot of new ideas that we're going to be bringing to the channel here in 2019. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Brian says, what is the price range on the Napoleon Juliet litter? The price range on the pups... You know, we haven't determined the price on the pups just yet, but like I said before, on an average, our pups are from 2000 to 2500 plus shipping if need be. Sometimes we have them a little bit cheaper. Sometimes they're a little bit more. It just really depends on the situation. Ramon Jones says, I'm a big fan. Y'all keep going to be at the show in H-Town. I'm a big fan. Y'all going to be at the show. An H-Town? Um, I, 
I I don't know, dog. I have I haven't heard of any shows in Houston, but I have been out to shows in Houston before. We had a real good time out there. One of the best times ever in the you know ever at a dog show in the bully world was out in Houston a while, a long, long time ago, but it was back when the bully world was really, really going. Really the shows were huge and stuff like that. So that was one of the best shows I ever been to and most fun I had. You know, all of us breeders, all of us, you know, American bully breeders all was in one place at one time. You know what I mean? It was like the whole bully world. Real good time. We had a real good fun out there. We was out there, went to Club Hush, had a real good time out there. We had a real good time. You look mad inbred. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could see you, bro. Man, I wish I could block that dude already because I already know. Thomas Smith. Well, I'm going to make sure I put Ohio on the map with one of your dogs. That's what's up, big dog. That's what's up. Yeah, well, we'll definitely take care of you. We'll definitely send some fire out there for you guys, get you guys going out there in Ohio. Your muscle pup, tone pups are on fire. Yeah, we had some muscle tone... Um. Some muscle tone litter, you know, we had bred Mr. Bean to Stella a while back. There were some real nice pups out of that, and we kept, you know, some real nice dogs out of that. Make sure you go check out those videos. We got our boy Stax, we got our boy Tank, and we got our boy, uh, or our girl, baby girl. Real badass bitch. Youngstown watching your live chat, real info. I'm sorry, I don't understand that, Thomas. I don't understand what you mean by that. Flaco Gonzalez, do you ever do any co-owned deals? You know, usually not. We don't really do co-owns too often. You know, we might cut somebody a little bit better deal if they're local or something like that. But it's really hard to do co-owns with people that are, you know, far, you know, far away, you know, far away from us and stuff. It's just hard to even work out them deals like that. Or Kurt says 2019 is Killinois Kennels year. Big ups to Killinois Militia. That's what's up, Killinois Kurt. <laughs> That's what's up, Kurt. We really appreciate that, man. We really appreciate that. That's what we're going to start calling everybody the Killinois Militia here. American Bully Mini. On, on Facebook, just saying the title of the video. I do not own the copyrights to the music and it'll play. Yeah, I'm I'm probably going to start doing those lives from Instagram and you know whatever happens on there, I really don't care about that so much. So I can go ahead and do a live on there and if they take it down and do some do some crazy stuff like that then it is what it is. It's a show on the 4th. Yeah, I'm not sure uh Ramon Jones. I never I haven't heard of that show. Um send me a message on Instagram about it. Maybe we, maybe we might pop up out there. How tall is Napoleon? Napoleon is about 17 inches tall. And uh, he's, a, you know, probably about 17, maybe 18. But uh, he's probably about 90 pounds. He's a big boy on a short frame. He's a lot of dog, a lot of girth. Thomas, Sorry, type error. Was saying I got a lot of my homeboys watching on my tv right now they're all following your instagram that's what's up big dog we really appreciate it man make sure you tell them to subscribe to our channel and check out them videos man that's really where we're most active at you know what i mean we uh you know killing you know youtube is what we're really pushing right now but yeah follow us on instagram we're going to be dropping a lot of pictures a lot of pictures of our productions dogs we've produced in the past and stuff like that we're going to be dropping a lot of that on there. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And uh, tell them I said thanks, man. Thanks for all the support. Appreciate you putting them on like that. Empire Day Bully. What's good with that Juliet daughter? Your man got you guys planning on bringing her soon. Mm -hmm. Tank. That would be awesome. Yeah. Um, I think we got something really, really... Something right up that line, man. I don't, I don't want to release nothing I shouldn't be releasing right right yet. But uh, most definitely got some stuff. Uh, 
got some real nice stuff coming up, man. And, you know, I'm, whatever we breed her to is going to kill the game. There's a couple real nice, uh, I don't know what, I don't know what female you're talking about, but there's three real nice females off that Ninja and Juliet breeding. And, um, you know, we're going to have some big things coming up with all three of them. So make sure you stay tuned for that. That's what's up, Thomas Smith. Tell him I said thanks, man. Tell him I said make sure you go check out them videos, man. We got a lot of real good stuff on there. You know, we, we tend to think our, our our videos ain't too boring. There's definitely some entertainment there for you, for sure. I got a real badass girl I'm going to be showing off. That's what's up. That's what's up, Ramon. That's what's up. If you ever need a stud for that badass girl, get with us and we'll take care of you. Rolando Gallagher, you ever had to judge one of your pups in a show? If so, what do you do? No, you're not able to, uh, I'm not able to show my dogs or judge dogs that come off of my yard. You know what I mean? So that, you know, in the registries that I work, up, work for, you can't do that. You know, we, we do that to try to We do that to try to, am I lagging here for you guys? Is it kind of lagging here? I got to shut my Facebook off. These guys is over here banging away. But, uh, I got a real badass girl. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second, man. You ever had to judge one of your pups in a show? If so, what do you do? Yeah, yeah, we yeah, we went over that. But uh for the registries that I work for and stuff like that, you you're not able to show in those registries. Me being a judge, I can't show my dogs in those registries. And then if it's my production and it's coming into the ring, it can't show under me. It'll have to show under the other judges that are there that day. I am looking for a stud though. Yeah, Ramon, if you, you know, if you, you know, check out our studs, man. And, you know, if you see something, get with us, man. And we'll take care of you. But uh, it looks like stuff's starting to slow down in here, man. If you guys any got any more questions, throw them on out there. And like I said, you know, we just didn't get any videos done this weekend. And, I was, I'm, I was going to try to hurry up and drop a video, but I'd rather m make it a better video than just hurrying up, throwing something up, just to throw it up. So I said, you know what, we'll go, go, we'll go ahead and go live there. 805 Capone was good. You plan on repeating that breeding with Machiavelli? Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, 805 Capone. We're just waiting on her to come back in the heat. As soon as she comes in the back of the heat, we're going to repeat that breeding. Thanks a lot, Commodore Kurt. We really appreciate it. Shy, shy. Chi Chi is the dog I'm asking about. Yeah, um, she actually just came in the heat, and I believe on her next heat cycle, we'll be breeding her. And uh, we got something really, we got something really big planned for her for her first breeding. Oh, excuse me. It's going to go ahead and be a line breeding on some of our old Kellanoise blood. And I can't wait wait to see uh, Swango do that one for sure. If all if all the breeders I follow on YouTube, you're the best. Good job, man. Thanks a lot, Tyler Patterson, man. We really appreciate it, man. We That means a lot to us. That means we're doing what we need to be doing over here. Because, you know, we definitely have the dogs to compete with anybody on YouTube verse quality-wise. And, um anywhere outside of youtube as well you know what i mean we're we definitely have the dogs that compete with people and um you know as long as you guys are liking these videos and you guys are liking the content we're putting out man then all this is worth me doing all this you know what i mean because we really do put in a lot of work man some of these videos take me all day to edit you know what i mean and you know i'm not you know uh, the best at editing videos but i do move through them for pretty fast but we don't really do a whole lot of like really short videos over here a lot of our videos we put a lot of time and effort into them trying to make them the best we can so that really means a lot man we really appreciate it 
best YouTube channel on bullies, period. And thanks a lot, Thomas Smith, man. Again, that really means a lot. Those words mean a lot to us, guys. And all the love and support all you guys been giving us, man, it means a lot. And it makes it worth it. Because like I said, you know, we ain't making a ton of money off these videos or no stuff like that, man. This is all just strictly to promote our dogs and, you know, shed a positive light onto the bullies. Appreciate that, Empire Gate Bully. Thanks, Kim Kniff. Sunday Night Lives. That's what it seems like everybody's saying. Maybe I should start doing that just every Sunday, doing a live video and going on from there, you know. I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to do a poll on the community, so make sure you guys all participate on that. I'm going to put up a poll, you know, which day should we do our, you know, scheduled lives on so everybody can tune in and... I mean, even with just popping up on these random ones, we're getting 80 to 100, you know, 100 people tuning in. And once everybody gets to, you know, gets to, inter, you know, interacting with each other in the chat, interacting with me, I think, you know, I think these videos will be really good. That's another thing, you know, not only are you talking to me, you can talk to the other people in the chat as well. And you guys can conversate and stuff like that. So... I'm new to your channel, so I'm learning the names of your dogs. That's what's up, Thomas. Make sure you go check them out, man. Go check out all of our studs. Check out all of our females. That's another thing I'm going to be dropping soon is I haven't gave a whole lot of the females their own videos, and I'm going to be starting to do that, too. I'm going to go ahead and drop the footage we have of our females, explain their pedigrees, and you know, stuff like that. Let you guys know what we got going on with them. Another thing I want everybody to know about Stella. You know, I've been having a, a lot of questions about Stella. And Stella is almost an ABKC champion and almost a BRC champion. And she's literally just now started her show career. You know what I mean? In the short time, she's built up a lot. She's almost a dual champion. So a big shout out to Alex for doing all that with her, man. Do you have any advice to getting your dog ready for the show ring? Yeah, that uh, like I said earlier in this video, you know, the best thing to do is get your dog used to being stacked. While you have him stacked, make sure you put your hands on him, kind of rub him, get, get him used to having hands putting on him while he's stacked and try to still make him stand still. And um, you can also... Uh, there's lots of stuff you can do. You got to always make sure your dog's on the left-hand side, like I said, and, um, you know, work on work on just walking your dog on the left-hand side and just get him used to being on your left, you know, and just get him to, used to following you. Not necessarily train him for the show ring. Get him trained to be a dog for you, you know what I mean? If, you know, your dog should always walk on your side and... If you walk, it should be walking. And if you stop, it should stop. You shouldn't have your dog dragging you and stuff like that. So those are some things you can do. And make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to do a video explaining everything in the show. Why, why I go over the dogs the way I do. What I'm looking for. What you should be doing. And stuff like that. And it's not always how your dog, you know... You know, what you should be doing in the show ring, it does matter, but you also got to have a nice quality dog in that ring as well. So it's not just all about you. It's all about the dog you're handling as well. Do you, have, uh, you should do something in Dallas. Yeah, we're like I said, we're going to be trying to hit, hit out there to Texas. We've been getting a lot of people wanting us to come out to the East Coast in Texas. So I'm going to talk with uh, the owners of the registries I work for, and we're going to try to start bringing some uh, dog shows in those areas. But the thing is, is if we do bring a dog show in that area, we need everybody to come out and support. You know what I mean? Because uh, we can't just be going out there throwing a show and nobody showing up. You know what I mean? It's not going to... It's just not beneficial to nobody. You know, uh, you got to at least make your money back off of a show. You know, if not, people ain't going to be throwing shows very long. You know what I mean? So, 
You guys got some good blood in your pads, no doubt. Thanks a lot, Empire Gate Bully, man. We really, really appreciate that. Sunday Night Live, Sunday Night Lives. That's what's up, man. It's sounding like it's going to be like that then. Great job, man. Love your videos, man. From what I've seen from your videos, Debo seems like my favorite dog you have. Yeah, Debo, you know, he, he's our foundation stud. Debo is no longer here, though, you know. I, as much as I hate to say that, but Debo's not no longer here no more, man. He passed away on us at 17 years old. He would have been 18 years old right now. But uh, he is... He is my, you know, he was my favorite dog ever. You know, I've had lots of dogs, lots of different breeds. I've had, that's my favorite dog ever as well. Commodore Kurt said SNL. Yeah, it sounds like it might be that. I mean, I don't know what GTG means, man. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit older, but <laughs> homie, homie, stay up with the producing the fire. Killing noise, killing, killing it. Later, everyone. That's what's up, Josh P, man. And shout outs to you, Josh P, man, for always showing us love and support on the channel. That really means a lot, man. Josh P's always liking our videos. He's always commenting on our videos. And that really means a lot, man. And to anyone else that does that, we really, really appreciate y'all. Good night, big dog. Rolando, it's awesome the way you are breaking down the dog's pedigrees. Keep up the great work. Yeah, that's what's up, man. I just, you know, I, I did that on one video and we got such a good response on it. Now I'm doing it on every video, man. So we like you guys, you know, we think we like that you guys like that stuff, man. And I like doing the videos like that. I like to explain where they come from and show you guys that our dogs aren't just flukes. They're coming from generations and generations of badass dogs. You know what I mean? Alex, you know, I have the notifications on and love getting the updates on the new videos. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's the best way to stay tuned in, and that's that's how to see our videos. Like I said before earlier, you know, somebody commented on one of my show, on my upcoming show vlog or videos, letting everybody know when the show's gonna be. He commented on there and said he was thirty miles away, and he wished he would have knew about it, and was kind of acting like it was my bad, and. Really, you know what I mean? I'm putting these videos out. You guys just have to watch them. I put that right on the video, Jackson, Michigan. You know what I mean? So it's so you got to make sure you check out them videos because you might, you know, end up missing out on something like that, dude. You know what I mean? Which I'm sorry he missed out on that. And that's the whole reason why I dropped the video is so people, you know, that are in that area can, you know, that are in that area can come out and enjoy them shows. And man, it, I wish dog shows were only 30 miles away from me. They very rarely are. And when they are, I'm at every one of them. <laughs> so I want to see Ric Flair breeding soon. Yeah, we're going to definitely be trying to incorporate Flair into some stuff. You know, he's a big boy. He's a big boy and not everybody's trying to breed you know, to the biggest dogs like that, but I'm going to definitely try to make something happen with him myself because I know he can throw it down. I know he can produce nice dogs and, you know, with the head and bone like that boy has, he's going to throw some really nice pocket dogs. He's already thrown some really nice pocket dogs. So, but, uh, but yeah, we, we're definitely going to be doing, doing that. What y'all feed your dogs? Not that Purina. <laughs> nah. No, nah, we don't feed them Purina, man. But, you know, we feed them Wholesome's dog food. It's a real good dog food made by Sports Mix. And, um, you know, sometimes, you know, like I feed my puppies Taste of the Wild. I wish I could feed all my dogs Taste of the Wild, but I couldn't feed, you know, it's a little too expensive to feed a whole kennel. A dog's taste of the wild, in my opinion. So you know, we do we deal with wholesomes, and uh, it's a real good dog food, real real good dog food. Eugene Blake, I love your dogs. Thanks a lot, Eugene. We appreciate that. Man, that's, I'm gonna kill this. Eskia, thanks you, bro. Thank you. We appreciate it. 
Roland Melvillain. What's the craziest thing that you've ever, ever happened to you in the show ring? Uh, what do you mean, like showing or, you know, I don't know. You know, I've had a couple dogs try to bite me, stuff like that. But, you know, I don't take that personal. But <laughs> your dog's not supposed to do that in the show ring, you know what I mean? But um, that's about the craziest thing that's happened in the show ring. I don't know, you know, outside of the dog just... You know, I've I've seen dogs, you know, use the restroom in the show ring, stuff like that. You know, nothing too crazy, though, man. Them shows are a good time. Then nothing crazy, crazy happens in that show ring like that. Best food to feed your bully. Best dog food to feed your bully. It's to each their own, man. I like Taste of the Wild, the yellow bag. That's really my favorite dog food to feed them. Dallas got some fire out here. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Um, you know, we get a if if anyone knows of a of a good spot in Dallas or something, you know, something that isn't crazy expensive. Find it like a you know at a at a fairgrounds or something like that, air conditioned of uh, venue. You know, hit me up. We might be able to get a show uh, going out there for you guys. If you guys got a nice, you know, big bully community that can bring a lot of people out. You know what I mean? So, we'll definitely try that. Gotta go. Okay. Okay. Okay, Commodore Kurt. Good looking out on that. Raul Martinez, what do you feed? <laughs> um. Yeah, we feed our dogs wholesomes sports mix, bud. That's what... That's what we feed our dogs. Happy holidays from Palm Springs, California. I got 15 on there for a deposit on Napoleon breeding and still saving. Can't wait to get a puppy big ups. That's what's up, Joni. Get with us and, uh, you know, we'll take care of you. We're going to have some really nice puppies available off of that litter. And, uh, you know, we're going to try to have some info for you guys here real soon as far as what picks will be available, stuff like that. So, good night, bro. Good, bro. Yeah, good night, Empire Gay Bully, man. Thanks for all the love and support all the time, dog. We really, really appreciate that. But yeah, come on out here and the D and do a show. We got to show up and show out for real, for real. Yeah, man. I mean, like I said, you know, as long as ever, you know, we might be able to make that happen. You know what I mean? But the thing is, is we're going to need local support and stuff like that you know we're we're out here in the midwest we don't really know you know we know a lot of breeders out in texas and stuff like that just as they know of our registry and stuff but you know it's more about you guys having a big com bully community out there and all come out and support and, you know we would love to bring a show out there how much how many times do you recommend to feed an american bully we only, you know, we only feed our dog once a day, you know what I mean? But we free feed our dogs. We give them as much as they want. We fill their bowl up all the way. They eat what they eat. They eat until they're full and they might not eat it all, you know what I mean? So we don't really do the two cups every eight hours thing. We don't really do all that over here, man. We, you know, that's, but I'm speaking for myself. You know, some of my partners, they might do it a little bit different than that. I'm speaking as far as me. You know, we feed our dogs, you know, nice, good-sized bowls. They eat whatever they, we free feed them. They always have food and water. Your YouTube videos are fire. We are loving them. In the, uh... That's what's up, Thomas Smith, man. We really appreciate it, big dog, for real. You bite the judge, you can't win. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Commodore Kurt. I mean, you know, I'm not stupid enough to let a dog actually get me. I can kind of tell when a dog's acting funny and stuff like that, and I'm weary about it, you know. And, you know, I try to give everybody the best chance, you know. You can ask around. I'm one of the judges that, you know, I'm not going to, you know, just flatten out you know, embarrass you because your dog tried to bite me and stuff like that. People will let you know that, you know what I mean? 
you know, and some dogs just get fired up. That might not even have been a mean dog. He's just at a dog show and there's, you know, hundreds of people and hundreds of dogs and stuff like that. You know, it's just a lot going on there. You know, a dog, sometimes, the, you know, that'll, that'll make a dog kind of, you know, on its toes in a little bit. So then when it's got some big grown man walking up to it to put its hands on it, it might be like, you know, what are you doing, man? So I don't really take it personal and I don't try to embarrass people and kill it like that. But, um, big shout out to you, bro. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Erwin Harvard. Erwin Harris Jr. Man, pretty good. Thanks a lot, man. We appreciate it. Big shout out to you and Merry Christmas to you. But yeah, it's looking like it's uh dying down in here, you guys, man. Unless anybody has any more questions or wants me to keep this moving, you know, I'll stay on here for a little bit. But, you know, unless anybody's, you know, got any more questions and stuff like that, I'm going to go ahead and probably shut this down. It's been an hour and a half. I think we're pretty good on this one. So I'll tell you what, man, we're going to, I'm going to do this poll on the community. I mean, as most people say they want it on Sunday nights. And so we're going to go ahead and try to do that Sunday night lives type thing. But, uh, you know, I'm going to do a poll and get everybody's, you know, because like I said, not everybody's getting this notification. Not everybody's seeing this live because I think we maxed out at like a hundred, a hundred, um, a hundred viewers at once. You know, we got almost 11,000 subscribers, so there's no way everybody's getting that, but it is what it is. You know, we'll start doing these a little bit more. Uh, we'll start doing these a little bit more. Yep. Take care. Merry Christmas to everybody. I don't know as far as, you know, is Christmas that man, where, how close are we to Christmas? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas to everybody. Thanks for everybody tuning in, man. Thanks for all the love and support. We really, really appreciated it, man. Don't forget to hit that like button, share these videos, make sure you stay tuned for the Stella. Make sure you stay tuned for the Stella uh, video that we're going to be dropping here real soon. You know, we're, we're going to be dropping some updated footage of her, and then we're going to be dropping a video showing you guys the breeding that we have going on with her right now. We also got something really big coming up with Trixie. We got something really big coming up with Brooklyn, stuff like that. We got some real, real nice show quality American Bullies on the way. We got some real nice uh, show vlogs coming for you guys. We got some real nice information videos for you guys. We got a lot of real nice stuff coming. So make sure you guys stay tuned, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you hit this notif notification bell because it'll definitely... You'll see the difference. We drop a video every other day. At least we try to. Sometimes we get caught up a little bit, but we're dropping a video every other day. And now on our off days, we're going to start creating a conversation in the community. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that as well. Good night. Good night, everyone. Yeah, see, he see, look at Irwin didn't get it till five. He didn't get the live thing till notifications five minutes ago. We've been on here for an hour and a half, and that's what I'm trying to tell everybody, man. You got to make sure you hit that notification bell. Peace out, Brian Holton, man. Thanks for the love. Brian Holton says, peace out, homie. Much love. Take care. My opinion, go live once or twice a month. Okay, yeah. Yeah, man. We're going to take that in consideration, uh, Brian Holton. And a uh, week and a half to Christmas. So I might see you guys on next Sunday. We'll try to make it happen. Can't wait till the puppies are available. My homies are going to be sick whenever I can bring one of your puppies. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Get with us, Thomas. And, you know, thanks for checking us out, man. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for checking out our videos. Thanks for sharing it with your ho homies. You know, hope everybody else does that, man. Smash that bell like Commodore Kurt says. Merry Christmas to all you guys. You ever thought about doing a raffle? Um, I don't know about no raffles. Here soon we are going to do a puppy giveaway. If we hit if we hit the numbers, you know, the if we get enough subscribers and stuff like that, we will be doing some puppy giveaways. So make sure you guys stay tuned, you know. Once we hit, you know, some big numbers on the subscribe you know, subscribers and stuff like that, 
We'll definitely be doing some puppy giveaways. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Hit the like button by exiting the chat. Yeah, you can hit the like button by exiting the chat. All right, y'all. Thanks a lot. Again, stay tuned for everything. Stella video coming soon. Stella video uh, breeding releasing in for the ma the information for it. That's coming soon. Trixie, we got something really big planned with her. That's coming soon. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for the love. We really, really appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and shut it down here. And... Um, Again, shout out to all the subscribers, all the supporters, everybody that tells us we're the best kennel. That stuff means a lot, man. And we really, really appreciate that. All the people that's showing us love in them comments, we really appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. We're going to go ahead and shut it down, though. If anybody has any questions and they want to get with me, call me, 217-280-0151. And if I don't answer... Don't hesitate to call back. Sometimes we just get super busy. Thanks a lot, y'all.